Hi guys, it's Sam and I am back today for a, with a new video for you guys and that video is some of my favorite book covers because book covers are like a work of art in my opinion. I mean, a book is a work of art, but the cover kind of makes it all come together, I think, because nothing annoys me more than when you encounter a horribly ugly cover and I think we all know what I'm talking about. Yes, I'm looking at you, mass market paperbacks. Although I've noticed some mass market paperbacks have gotten a little bit better. They're not quite as bad as they used to be. Like some are just awful. And I think, I think we all know what I'm talking about. I think we've all seen the type of covers I'm talking about. In my opinion, I think the cover just makes the whole thing come together as a work of art. I mean, you can display it on your shelf and it just looks gorgeous and it just adds to the whole feeling and I just I just love it. So I have nine books to show you guys of that I own of covers that I love and I'll kind of tell you a little bit why I like it but really just show you it and have you revel in its glory because they are glorious. The first book I have to show you guys will be very familiar to all of you and it is Graceland by Kristen Kishore. I just adore this cover and you have this really cool knife with her eye in it. You have all these colors going on. You have like this aged canvasy type look to it with and it's glossy and it's just so pretty. Make a close up on it. See, there's her eye and the sword, and you have the writing, and even the the knife sword thing looks cool. I think it's a knife, but it's just it's just pretty. And even the spine is cool, so it looks pretty on your shelf with just the spine sticking out. I just I love this cover. My next favorite book cover is Brisinger by Christopher Paolini, and this is the fourth book in the Inheritance Cycle. Of the four books in this series, this is probably my favorite. I just love the artwork on the dragon, this cool looking gold dragon. Even the writing on the spine is cool, the same matching gold. And then you have a picture of that dragon's eye right here. I just, I love it. It just looks like a really cool painting of a dragon. So I'll get a close up so you guys can see it. I think it looks really cool offset against the black. And again, this is a really good series if you guys haven't read it. Really, really good. I really recommend them. But that is my second book. My next favorite book cover is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And this is from the new paperback editions box set. I like all of the covers, but this one is one of my favorites. You have Harry and Dumbledore when they're going to the cave to destroy the Horcrux. And I just think it's glorious. I love how Dumbledore looks on the cover. How he just... Dumbledore looks like he's tired of people's crap and he's about ready to kick some butt in this picture. I just... I don't know if you can really quite see the expression. I'll try to get a close up. But I don't know. I love the covers and I just, I love everything about it. And even the spines, this whole box set are cool because when you have all the spines lined up, they make Hogwarts Castle. And it's just beautiful. And they even have artwork on the back. There's Harry in Dumbledore's office chatting with him about the Horcruxes. And yeah, I don't know. I just, it's pretty guys. It's just pretty. My next favorite book cover might seem a little bit bland, but I think you have to take into account the whole book with this one. But that book is my edition of The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I actually found this at Target and I was quite surprised. It is this faux leather vinyl type cover and it has The Hobbit and all of that in gold. It has an embossed elven figure right in the middle. And you open it and the pages are gilded and it has these cool maps right in the beginning. And I just... I love this edition of The Hobbit. It's just so cool. And plus, I don't have to worry about the page getting ripped, the cover getting ripped, because like a lot of paperbacks, that's one of my concerns about getting ripped or bent. And I just think it looks cool, and it looks classic, and it makes it look kind of old. And I th just love that about this book. My next favorite book cover is one that I haven't read, but part of the reason why I bought this book was because of the cover, and that is Ruby Red by Kirsten, Kirsten Gear. And it's just awesome. Look at that. And each of the books in the series are awesome. I can't wait to get them all. There's a blue one, which I think is called Sapphire Blue, and then em uh, green one, which is Emerald Green, the name titles of the book. And they just look beautiful. They're like works of art. You have all this filigree going on, this little watch here because she can travel in time. You have her, which I don't typically like people on books like this, unless it kind of looks a little bit like a painting. It just depends. But I didn't think this one was too bad. I just think they're so cool. And I can't wait to get the other two books in the trilogy. I still need to read them. I haven't, but I want to get on it because it's not that long. But I can't wait till I have them on. I can have them lined up with the covers. And I don't know. It just it looks so pretty, guys. Look at it. The next book I have is Trickster's Choice by Tamora Pierce. This is one of my favorite book covers of a Tamora Pierce book. Her 
first quartets, such as the Song of the Lioness Quartet, Protector of the Small Quartet, the Immortals Quartet, the covers I never really liked, but I know they've actually redone them, and I want to own them, and I want to own them in the new covers. But this is one of the ones I have of hers where I really like the cover. It it's just cool. I think this is another example of where I don't mind a person on the cover because it just looks cool. It doesn't look like an actual person, so I don't really like it when it's just a photograph of a real person. It's just me. It's just me personally. I just like her little veil going like this and she looks all mysterious. And I like the lettering on the title on the side, how it kind of curves and it just, I don't know guys, it just is cool. And even the spine's cool. I like the font they chose and you have like this little emblem right here, which I like and it just looks pretty. Pretty. My next book is The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. This is one of the Penguin Clothbound Classics editions, and I love this one. I love blue anyway, and this one is really cool. It's navy blue with these brighter blue birds on it, and I just think it makes it look really cool and pretty, and it looks really nice displayed on your shelf. And yeah, I, do I really need to say any more? It's blue and cloth, and it looks cool. It's the same with my collection of Charles Dickens Christmas stories Penguin Clothbound Classic Edition. I love it with the white and the blue snowflakes and I just I love how Penguin just makes these really really cool editions of their classic books. And I don't know if you guys have seen the Penguin Drop Caps ed classic editions. I am in love with those books. Even the pages are colored to match it. They all have like this really really cool typeface lettering on the front with the author's, the first letter of the author's last name, and then they are color coordinated, so there's some that are yellow, red, blues, like it's like the whole rainbow, and even the pages are colored like all around, and they're just so cool looking. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can go and check them out because they're absolutely gorgeous, and I want to get my hands on some of these. My last favorite book cover that I own is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. This cover is absolutely stunning. I mean, it looks like a work of art. It looks painted and, I don't know, guys, just, just revel in all of its glory. There's a little bit of a glare there, but trust me, it is so, so cool. I like it. I like the second one as well. This is the second one, but I don't like it as much as the first one. I think this one's still really cool. But there's just something about this one with Quoth on the cover that I just think is beautiful. Because it, it is, it's like a painting and it's just, it's just wonderful, you know? You just can't help but stare at it. This is what makes book lovers stare at their books is because of the gorgeous covers. I mean, am I right? Am I right? I know I'm right. I'm right. All right, guys, those are some of my favorite book covers. Let me know down in the comments what some of your favorite book covers are. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please thumbs up and subscribe. And until next time, guys, bye.